Hey everybody, Daryl really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain to Fleur along Orpheus's path. And we're getting close to the end now. Sorry, it's been a couple days. I'm still kind of sick, but I'm going to try to work through it. So we have been stabbed by Hubert, but the goddess Melene is actually going to heal us. And Hubert's not too happy about that, as you can imagine. But she's the goddess of love, so she's got to cheer us on with our love. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Don't move. I will heal this wound now. Uh. Thank you so much, Melene. I think she's kinder in this route than she has been in any other one. Princess's wound is healing so fast. Is Princess okay now? No, what I did was just emergency aid. Her life is almost at an end. She will wilt and vanish soon. There must be something we can do. Melene, what should I do? There is only one thing you can do. She is originally a Hanabito, who is a form of grace. If you supply enough grace to sustain her life. Go to the land, Orpheus. Yes, there must be an abundance of grace stored in your tree of life. Okay, I'm going. Oh, Melene looks so pretty turned like that. My goddess, Melene! Why do you help such a brat? Because she's the goddess for love! And damn, why do you have to look so hot like that, Hubert? I love that outfit on him. Why do you leave me who is loyal to you and give your aid to a mere vassal in the night? <sighs> Hubert. Orpheus, just leave him be. You should go with the princess. But... There's no time to waste, man! The plan has changed a bit, but we'll still hold to it, right? Just leave him to us. Go, Orpheus. We will fight too! Oh, look at these two looking all tough. That's awesome. So, Orpheus, please take care of Princess. Everyone. Thank you. My... My goddess will be gone. Why? My goddess, Melene. Why? Oh, poor Hubert. I feel my body gradually getting cold from the tips of my fingers. The only thing I can feel in my faint consciousness is the tightness of the arms that hold me. Or... Orpheus. His gentle warmth is the only thing to keep me from fading. Winter condition. Successfully complete the command and put three times in a row. This is the Shrine of Valet. I'm really back here. The Knight? Why are you here? Knight, you're supposed to be in part of them. I'll explain it later. Please, bring a horse for me right now. Y yes Hey, hurry up! Violet, are you okay? Just hold on a little longer. We're going into the woods where my tree of life is. It's a little far, but we'll hurry. B please if I lose consciousness now, I probably won't be able to wake up again. Orpheus knows it and holds me, looking worried. I'll keep calling you so that you can stay awake. So, please hold on. I will surely save you. Y yes I hold on to my consciousness. I may faint if I'm not careful. And I give a slight nod to Orpheus. I'm holding on! Faster! Faster! <sighs> Violet, we're going faster. Hold me tight. Eee, buttons. I will succeed. I'm okay. For now, I can still move my hands. I still can. Don't worry about me. Just focus on separating the world. That's not it. I'm selfish, so I want both the world and you. Don't give up. Ever. We're finally in the woods. It's not far from here. <sighs> Violet, can you hear me? Answer me. No, I'm losing my consciousness. Ah, oh, time again.
I'm okay. I can hear you, Orpheus. Yes, I'm sorry for your pain. But we're almost there. I feel it. Maybe because it's so close. My power is right on ahead. So hang in there just a little more. We're trying! This scene, this air. I see it. That's it. Thank you for bringing us here. It helped a lot. It's my turn now. We have to walk from here, Violet. Hold on to my back tight, okay? Uh, warm and comfortable. I can't see his face, but I feel him. Uh-oh. No, don't fade out. No. Open your eyes! Look at me! Call my name! Violet! One more time! Done and done! Now we're safe. Oh, Orpheus. Take me to your tree of life. Of course. That's why we're here. Indeed. Victory! I look up at Orpheus blankly while he holds me up. He approaches the source of his power steadily, one step at a time. As he goes, his stern face gradually becomes gentle. It brings back my old days. It's so warm. This is my... He eventually stops, and I look around. It looks so normal. Except for the holy light pouring down upon it. I see an olive tree surrounded by a holy atmosphere. Is this tree? Yes, I feel it. This is... my tree. And gently he touches his trunk, and opens his mouth as if to pray. I'm sorry for making you wait, and that I forgot about you. That part of me, please lend me your power to save the person important to me. Oh, Orpheus. It's okay. Don't be afraid. This tree is me, myself. You've given it all until this point, so it's my turn to give it my all now. I'll pour my grace into you now. It may be different from the goddesses, and it may cause pain. Yes. But please trust me. I'll save you no matter what. <sighs> Do as you wish, Orpheus. I'm yours. Yes, and I'm also yours. So please, accept this. Oh, it's so pretty. With Orpheus's words, an unfamiliar sensation slowly seeps into my body. Uh, uh. I feel a burning pain suffocating me. It's different from the feeling I get when Milene encroaches. My face distorts from the pain, and I begin to feel like I'm losing myself. Uh, uh. It's okay. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. My own power can never hurt you. You can take your time. Just feel me little by little. Just accept me. It's true. Orpheus would never hurt me. Because he loves me. And I too. I love Orpheus from the bottom of my heart. This power is a part of him. When I think that way, I gradually come to feel his kindness and the power flowing in. Ah, uh, as I thought. Violet, are you still in pain? Yes, I feel it, your power. Gentleness is filling my body, and I feel you becoming a part of me. Yes, I feel it too. Something inside you is becoming part of me. We're almost there, becoming one. Yes. How long have we stayed like this? I feel like Orpheus's grace has filled me up. We slowly raise our bodies. 
Are you okay? Don't move so much yet. Thank you, Orpheus. I'm fine now, so... Uh, I know. We have one more thing left to do. We hold on to each other's hands and look up to the sky. The land far away in the sky called Partadom. It has been watching over the land for so long. But it is time for Tanabita to become independent from the care of their parent. They can leave a comfortable cage and fly out on their own wings. Create a new border between the heaven and the land. Orpheus breathes deep and begins to sing. At the same time, Orpheus's grace flees and slowly rises up into the sky. While I listen to the song that I've never heard before, I also pray in my mind. For people who are far away. For a new world. For a future with him. Ah, the end. And now I have to put the ending theme in its own video. I know, okay, I know. I know the scene was just rife with sexual innuendo. <laughs> But I wanted to, to keep it serious. I didn't want to laugh through the whole scene, so I think I did a pretty good job of holding it together. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I really didn't want to do that to the scene. And plus, if I lost my spot, it would have been really hard to find it again. Oh, man. Yeah, just if you go back over and read that scene again or listen to that scene again, just... Ugh. And I tried. When, when I was going through the revisions, I was like... I tried not to make it sound sexual, but there just wasn't much I could do. <laughs> but I really did my best. All right, well, anyway, I hope to see you for that next video or some of my other ones. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.